Today we're talking about ISRL, the native utility coin of the Meme Meets Metaverse project. So we're going to talk about this project today, but before we do that, make sure to do your own research and figure out if this project is for you. So this will be a launch pad for future projects and developing a private, by design, blockchain for fully private transactions. So we're going to talk about what that means, go over uh, what this project is about, the roadmap, and of course, if you guys are interested, how you guys can be involved. But let's just jump right into it now. Let's go. Welcome to the ISRL pad building metaverse of memes. So uh, we'll talk about this. It's meme versus metaverse and everything going on with this project. So it says, ISRL coined the native utility and launchpad coin of the meme meets metaverse, launch development of a meme focused metaverse. The ISRL to coin will be used as a launchpad and native utility coin, currency coin, and trading pair against all upcoming projects. The meme meets metaverse developed metaverse underpinned by its complete privacy by design approach and all our subsequent launches. So it says the meme metaverse are developing a metaverse underpinned by complete privacy by design approach and all our subsequent launches to obscure transactions and protect holds your privacy. Uh, obviously this is very important to people. That's the reason, one of the main reasons a lot of people use crypto is because it's anonymous. It protects who they are and obviously people uh, want to make sure that their data is safe so that they are data and obviously money is safe so they don't get hacked etc. And just make sure that it's um, you know completely secure. So uh, and we're doing so with subsequently launch a fully privacy underpinned El Salvador coin next. So really cool. Uh, the launchpad coin of the meme meets metaverse, following key feature of the ISRL coin and the MMM. The native launchpad coin of S ISRL metaverse and deflationary supply will serve as a, a na native utility and launchpad coin of the metaverse. Holds will be incentivized through airdrops and whitelisting for future launches. Um, and also double digit percent of all funds raised from future sales. So utility and governance will serve as utility coin of the metaverse. All holders will benefit from the financial and governance rights depending on coin holdings and privacy by design. Obviously they want to make sure that uh, privacy is their main focus. So governance and staking. Uh, coin holders will be able to stake and earn more ISRL. Uh, Market-wide adoption. Uh, so ICO listings, marketing CX plan for future adoption. Five-year plan published on roadmap, which we'll check on in a second. Then here's the tokenomics. So 2.5% supply issue of pre-sale, 2.5% team allocation, 10% of funds raised during pre-sale, adds to lack of liquidity pool and pancake swap, and audited, completed, and completed ICO. So let's look where they are on the roadmap. So meme beats meta meets metaverse. So Coin creation, ICL listing, pre-sale, audit launch and completion, partnership goes live, and then down here, uh, BSC listing, additional exchange listing, marketing, listing on additional changes, implement cross-chain functionality, and then generate a March, so Q1, release testnet, mainnet, privacy blockchain, assess project proposals, and develop metaverse, publish launchpad, finalize tokenomics, then Q1, not Q1, Jan, I guess Jan, Q1 to Q2, just pushing the market cap and the mint limited run of NFTs to mark achievements. So they plan to have NFT component as well. And then sometime next year, just develop new partnerships. I think they're just saying that this is ongoing. Develop a strategic initiative to drive uptake and adoption and incentivize holders, view and garner support for any proposed changes to the metaverse. So I think that's pretty good to just have it like really open. Like I said, um, if you were thinking about projects earlier this year on the roadmap, did anyone put metaverse on there? Probably not. So it's good to stay fluid. Who knows what's going to be um, new and exciting. Obviously, metaverse is just the beginning. So I definitely think that's going to be uh, a big focus for this project and um, some other projects. But I do think leaving it open for other things that potentially uh, that you can adapt and be flexible, I think is important. Um, but let's talk a little bit about this. Then we'll check out their socials um, for some updates. They also have this uh, cool video that kind of just like talks about highlights some of the points on here, what they plan to do. Um, but let's check out uh, some information uh, on this. We actually checked out all these things. Let's check out the white paper, um, which kind of goes into some of these topics uh, more in depth. Um, so let me go over the abstract. Sorry if you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys can see this okay. Um, uh, here's some highlights which I actually thought was good. Um, to be native utility coin of the metaverse, to be used as launchpad for all future projects, uh, would be whitelisted for upcoming launchpad sales. So that's really cool. I've seen this um, uh, a couple times, a couple of projects and a couple of launchpads where if you're a holder of the native coin, uh, then you get access. So that's one of the main uh, reasons is you get access to um, all the launchpad, all the projects that launch from there, which is great. So you're one of the first people that is uh, gets exposure to it and investment for it for potentially the lowest price it's ever going to be. 
uh, trading fees paid in ISRL coin for upcoming projects, privacy blockchain, cross-chain functionality, staking, governance, uh, bug bounty system, and then a framework for developers for upcoming projects. So they talk a little bit more uh, about this, some of the coins that they're coming out uh, in the future. El Salvador, U.S. privacy coin, China privacy coin, uh, more information on that if you guys are interested. Uh, and again, they talk about some of the benefits that separate public and private blockchain as follows. So they kind of talk about um, what they're planning to achieve and why they want to do this. And like I said, they want to um, show to you guys and be super transparent uh, about the opportunity that they have here. So they talk about that. Uh, talk about cross-chain functionality, staking governance. Uh, we went over the roadmap. Um, but if you guys want to learn more, definitely check this out. They definitely go in depth with everything uh, involved here. If you guys want to follow them on Telegram, they have 4,000 members already of this project. So who are we? They're a team of cryptologists and mathematicians who have joined focus, focus, uh, forces to develop a privacy by design ecosystem, uh, leading the development of entirely privacy-focused blockchain. The coin will be used as utility and governance coin of the Launchpad, and it's used um, for all future projects. Check out their Telegram for the latest information. It says pre-sale, private sale. Uh, pre-sale, private sale is live, accepting BNB for this. Public sale is after the completion of some of their marketing efforts. Certec is done. Here's the Certec audit if you guys want to check it out um, for yourself. Uh, privacy blockchain launching in Q1. Uh, and then some facts. Lock dev wallet, 12 month vesting, no venture capitalist, 70% of funds go to locked liquidity. Certec audit completed. Uh, airdrops for new token, and then again, like I said, they're working on, uh, you know, through this pre-sale. Uh, things upcoming is the uh, ICO listing, CoinMarketCap ICO listing, and then public ICOs coming in the near future, and then obviously launching on PancakeSwap, um, et cetera, because it's on Binance Smart Chain. So if you guys are interested and if you guys want to participate, I would say definitely check out their Telegram for the latest information on everything going on. Uh, with this project. I think that would be a good start. Obviously, follow them on Twitter. They do some updates. Uh, if you guys want to check out kind of where they are um, on this and have some information on the tokenomics, if you want to take a deep dive, definitely check that out. Um, but like I said, a lot of people are excited about this project. Uh, they plan to do more. Like I said, uh, they said here, in initial private sales live with 120 BNB cap. Uh, that one is over, but again, there's still opportunity for you guys to jump in early. Um, and I'm gonna keep you guys updated on this. Definitely check out this video that talks more about this project. Ask any questions that you might have on Telegram. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I'm gonna keep you guys uh, posted uh, when they actually go live and they're available to buy on PancakeSwap. But if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, but that's it. Uh, I definitely can't wait to see some of the projects that come out of this launch pad. Obviously check uh, out their take on the metaverse and NFTs that they mentioned. Uh, and I know that um, you know, I'm also eager to learn more about the team behind this. Uh, but uh, that's it for today. Uh, no, no chart to check out. Uh, no uh, other updates. Then this is kind of just telling you guys about this project. You guys to check it out and it's something you want to jump into. Uh, obviously do your own research, not financial advice. Um, but uh, they are having uh, that private sale where you could get in uh, still super early. So thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.